And what is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. It's been a couple days, almost a week, since my last upload on the channel, but I've been streaming every day at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on the channel, except the, the Easter Sunday. I missed the Sunday because I had family stuff, but I've been farming eggs. So in today's video, we discuss the Easter event. It's almost over, four days left as I'm uploading this. And also, I give you guys my first impressions on the new Project Embra Mark II because I bought it yesterday. I played about three hours on stream with it, so I have a pretty good idea to answer the question that I get a lot. I've been getting a lot on stream. Do you like it? Is it any good? Is it worth the grind? So let's go, guys. So first of all, kind of touching base here. We got four days and eight hours left as I'm recording this. So in the morning, it's going to be four days left. Thursday morning, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Monday morning is going to be over. So just wanted to know how you guys doing because you know I read all the comments. So let me know in the comments how you liking it so far and how you doing. I mean, are you going or what are your goals? Are you going for the Ambra or are you just going for the cosmetics and some paint? And I said because it's not over till it's over. Whatever you doing or how you doing, just keep going. Even if you don't think you're going for the Ambra, just keep farming as usual because you don't know what's going to happen, right? They might give more free eggs on the mad stream. They did 50 eggs last week and they might give a little bit more maybe later. Also, we don't know what, but they said they were going to do something special on the last weekend, which is in two days. So we don't know also, is it going to be maybe double drops or just increased drop rates? Or is it just going to be special package or special boss drops or whatever? Like they didn't mention anything, but they said something for the last weekend. So if you guys are close or almost have enough, just don't give up yet and just see what happens in the last couple days. Now, I was going for the Project Ambra. I knew I wanted it for the collection and I'm not doing a full legendary spotlight review right here, but still first impressions. And I already discussed the stats on my first video. I mean, I got the eggs for it. I think it was Saturday because I knew I was not streaming on Sunday and I wanted to like make sure if we had a good roll, I wanted to have enough eggs to buy. So I ended up buying this one yesterday afternoon and there was another really good roll yesterday morning. It was high damage, more damage than that. Now there's a look at the perks that I got. So eight damage, which is too short. 14 crit is one less than max. Five elites is a bit low, but you got nine fire rate and nine mag. The roll before or two rolls before that, it had higher damage. I think it had max elite and I think it had 9 or 10 damage, but it didn't have fire rate. So I said, lots of guys were asking, am I going for it or not? I said, if you're going for the damage, you're not going to get much better than that. It had almost max damage, but no fire rate. So big deal, yes or no, depends on your preferences. But I mean, I didn't want to take a chance. I thought this one was pretty good and I went for it, but we might see better rolls. There's still... In four days, you might see 24, 25 uh, other refresh or shop refresh. So you never know. It's always a gamble. Some guys like it. Some guys don't like it. It's RNG, guys. And in looting games, usually RNG is a big factor. But still, I kept farming after I had enough eggs for the Ember because I knew I wanted more, not just the weapon. I really like the paint camos, but also the rabbit hat because quick correction. Let's look at the hat real quick. On my first video, I didn't mention, I thought it was just another Mad Rabbit, but this one's different. Uh, it's really white, but the red eyes are different from the mad, the other Mad Rabbit. It's, it's a reskin if you want, but it is unique. So I want it. It's pretty expensive also, 800 eggs. We still got three days left and we don't know what's coming. So it might be easy to like the last stretch and get what you really want. The bunny ears I might pass because I really want to buy some paint. Now let's go with the Project Ambra impressions. I did play a lot yesterday because we farm eggs on stream. So it's a cool weapon. The good point is it's got good accuracy, good range and a huge clip, 40 bullets in the magazine. But it's got lower damage and lower fire rate than Nico. We did talk about that also on the first day of the event when the stats were revealed. So. I, I mean, I like the weapon and it's really good. It's one of the top three AR legendary ARs in the game right now. Okay, the stats are really good. It's better than uh, Edestus, better than Slay, Slay's Dauntless, and better than the old Ambra. 
but also it's always personal preferences but the thing with this weapon is not that it's bad but nico and faraday are so good right now that this thing cannot compete with the top ars in the game they're just better than everything so whatever you get and we compare it to nico or faraday is it's not as good as you know uh, the other thing is the one thing i really don't like so far is the low damage because nico's got more damage and faraday's got more damage and other weapons have more damage but other weapons have less damage like the skull blaster and the big eagle they're not great weapons for arena right because all all your numbers that you have on your gear the elite damage the extra damage to the back the crit damage they all stack with the base damage so if you start with high base damage all the numbers that you that you will add to the base damage they'll be bigger and at the end you end up with big crit numbers in the back so that thing right here is a bit low it's lower than nico so the end result is a bit low so it takes time to kill stuff it kills stuff slower but yeah it's got great accuracy it's got lots of ammo some guys like it but again one more thing is the perks are not unlocked yet okay i did play three hours i did unlock the elite damage and the crit damage but i don't have the base damage yet and i don't have the fire rate yet so i remember the first time i got my first nico and the first time i tried nico i didn't like it believe it or not because i was used to playing with uh i think it was fire fist pure high damage all the good perks all the perks unlocked so when i first got nico with zero perks it was underwhelming it was underpowered it was not killing stuff that good uh i i felt it was weak but then after i unlocked the perks uh more damage better fire rate more mag and everything and it end up being super good right so maybe it's similar with the project amra mark ii i just got it no perks unlocked it's a bit weak but as you unlock the perks it's get it's getting better and better and i did have a lot of good comments from other guys that got their amra earlier and they unlocked the perks and they say it's it's much better with the perks so of course gonna need more time but first impression I like it it's good but it's not as good as the top ars right now the thing though is we don't know what might happen in the future will we see balance changes because if they see analytics and they see that everyone are, are every player is just playing faraday and nico maybe faraday and nico are just a bit better than everything else maybe they will have a nerf in the future i mean we don't know it's it's tough to balance you know we did talk about that in the past but that thing also there's there's a good point to that if that weapon was overpowered if that was the best legendary ar in the game we would have another problem because all the players that will not get it because it's gonna be gone after the event and it was hard to get it was just for the hardcore pve farmer that that want to grind for it so if it was the best weapon in the game, it would not be fair for the guys that don't want to grind for it, right? So it's really good. It's not the best, but I think it's okay like that. It's a good, it's a good thing that it's not the best. We we would really have a problem there. So I think that will be it for today, guys. That was my opinion. Quick opinion. Is it good? Is it worth it? I think it is, but it's it's a collectible first. And it's not a bad weapon and it's gonna be better with the perks so hope you guys enjoyed the short video touching base once again i will be back with more for sure guys and uh yeah watch the mad stream later see what happens and good luck with the grind don't forget to leave a comment you know i read everything i like to hear from you guys i will be back soon thank you guys for watching hit the like subscribe see you guys later so king jaffi has to go now i will relog and then we're gonna grab Orion and we do a bit more farming. What's up? Three legendaries? Is it for real? Got Nico? Nico? And Bestie. No armor, come on. 10 damage, 15 crit, doesn't matter though. 10 damage is good. 5 iron sight is max and 5 elite is medium. Oh, dude, double accuracy and everything. Man. 
The, too bad I have only five elite. 